I'm Edmund de Waal. Um, I'm an artist. I've used clay all my life. I'm a potter. And sometimes I have the enormous privilege and pleasure of curating exhibitions. It is, of course, impossible to avoid him anymore. He's one of those artists that you come back to, and at different times in my life, more has meant a great deal, particularly around his iconography of the hand. There's an abstraction of touch, um, which happens throughout his sculpture. Energetic, uh, tactile moments of, of departure for him, for his sculpture. A broken flint brought together with another flint becomes an object to hold round, which becomes a body, which becomes an object in movement, which becomes then a person or a moment of, of, of holding a child. And it's that holding that, that I find um, so central to Henry Moore's practice. So what I wanted to do was to make an exhibition where you could touch the sculpture. In this exhibition, there are three remarkable sculptures which actually focus entirely around the hand. There's the king and queen, where the hands are really very powerfully poised. And also, please run your hands down the back of the king's back, because that's the best spine I think you'll ever feel in sculpture. It's absolutely beautiful. There's an extraordinary stalactite called Mother and Child, made out of this sort of crystalline, hard, adamantine rock. And then behind me, over here, um, a huge bronze called Hand. The bronze, as you will discover, is a, a whole series of different surfaces, some very smooth and weathered, um, and some which have great texture hidden within them. You'll see in this exhibition that there are some stone benches made out of Haunton stone. I've called them tasset, which is a very beautiful word meaning pause. So there's one particular room in the exhibition which is full of Henry Moore's own drawings of hands, including many representations of his own hands. These drawings of Dorothy Hodgkin's hands are also profoundly affecting her severely arthritic hands. In any conventional sense, they are twisted, but there's huge, powerful beauty. That is remarkable. That's worth the journey in itself. So this exhibition that we're sitting in today has been locked down for a whole year. And so to come back to this exhibition and have this invitation back to, to touch safely, and to do that we've also made a special new element to the exhibition. I've created a place to wash hands before you come into this exhibition. Water runs over the stone, it takes its form from a tsukubai. What I hope visitors will experience in this exhibition is to encounter not only the beautiful objects that Henry Moore and his family had at home, powerful images of, of drawings of hands that he created over his whole lifetime, to experience these three incredible sculptures by Moore. And I'm hoping this exhibition will allow people to have a moment of, of solace and renewal and reconnection with each other and, and to this remarkable artist.